Kumar, good, great to see you again. Great to see you, Steve. Uh, congratulations, you've had a big win with CenturyLink for SD-WAN technology. Why do you think service providers are looking at SD-WAN for managed services? Um, and isn't this a threat to their existing MPLS offerings? Well, this is an extremely good question, Steve. Uh, one of the things which service providers are finding out is that the enterprise to which they are serving, they themselves are demanding SD-WAN as a managed service offering from the service providers themselves. So that's uh, number one. Number two, for those service providers who don't really have that big an MPLS install base, this is a real uh, way to capture market share out yeah. there. And number three is also, you know, SD-WAN service coupled with security uh, as a managed service is a high value service for the service providers. Uh, so this, all these three combine, and you know, in addition, they can go to uh, outside their uh, uh, outside their customer uh, base yeah. to offer VPN service uh, yeah. and uh, bring the operational cost down. It's all a win-win for the service providers. I mean, it sounds like a sort of trifecta of opportunity for them, but the fact that it's customer-driven, uh, there's a demand for it, is is probably the biggest thing. But uh, you mentioned security there. Is that something that you support natively with your service? Because I guess one of the questions for me is, aren't all SD, isn't SD-WAN all the same? Or are there big differences between how it's implemented by the vendors? Well, extremely good question, Steve. Uh, so first of all, all SD-WAN offering are not quite the same. The base features are similar, but how it is designed from the ground up, whether you are carrier grade or enterprise grade, mm -hmm. uh, is a big differentiator. Whether you are a multi-tenant uh, solution, uh, and whether, uh, so that you can offer economies of scale mm -hmm. to the service provider is an important aspect of uh, the SD-WAN solution. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as uh, the security is concerned, Security is not just merely IPsec. Now, clearly, IPsec is needed to encrypt the traffic going on the broadband link, mm -hmm. but it is more than that. You know, when you want to give very good user experience uh, for the applications which are in the cloud, and you want to give direct to internet access, you want a full stick stack of security offering, right from next gen firewall mm -hmm. to DDoS to antivirus URL filtering mm -hmm. to protect the site which has now opened a new penetration, attack penetration surface mm -hmm. for other people to come into the branch. And that is why you really need full stack of security. And I mean obviously you could buy the security separately and the SD-WAN uh, technology separately. What are the benefits of buying them together from Versa? Well, so you get, you get a zero, you get the same pane of glass. Right. Uh, managing both uh, the SD-WAN and security. Mm. Uh, you can have po policies which are cohesive mm. uh, from both connectivity and, and security perspective. Mm. Uh, and, uh, you know, in the end, uh, um, you know, you don't have to, you can do zero touch provision of security, which you will never get today from any offering out there for security. What percentage, I mean, you've got a lot of customers and congratulations on that. What percentage of them are activating the security capabilities on the product? Is it is it a full overlap or is it? Actually, it's a very good question. Yeah. Um, uh, again, what we've seen is most of our service provider customers are adopting two tiers from us. Mm. One is SD-WAN and the other one is SD-WAN with security. Mm. And even though we have other tiers which we offer, mm. those are the two most popular tiers which they are going with. Mm. And uh, clearly for uh, for the managed service providers, mm. security is an upsell for them right. and they clearly are deploying it to, uh, and offering it as a service to the customer. Mm. Now you're selling to both enterprise and service provider right now. Is the product, you know, sort of over-engineered for an enterprise versus the the service provider? I know it's all, always better to have the best pr possible product, right? But um, what's your comment on that? Well, I think for the as far as the product is concerned, is easy to deploy for enterprise. But clearly, we have all the hooks which the service provider need, all the flexibility and the versatility which mm -hmm. the service provider need to deploy complex networks out there which have different kind of uh, requirements like they need to support hub and spoke, fully mesh, partial mesh topologies. Right. Um, in addition to that, they have to, uh, they have to uh, support the right way of, uh, the right um, application steering, uh, the right DPI functionality, 
Um, so all of that uh, we do couple for the service provider, mm -hmm. uh, in addition to what I've said before, the multi-tenancy and the security mm -hmm. part. On the enterprise side, is there a particular size of company that's the sweet spot for you? Does it tend to be the larger size of enterprise? Yeah, so the larger size of the enterprise is the sweet spot for mm -hmm. us. Uh, you know, the the Fortune 500 companies, right. uh, which whose networks look very similar to the service provider. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it gets up there in terms of scale and also challenge, so it gives you an opportunity. Precisely right. Also, for a, for a company which is starting out, diversity is good, isn't it, in the customer? In the customer base. Um. Yeah, and actually what we've also seen, Steve, is that the enterprise networks which uh, have deployed our uh, solution are, you know, they need the flexibility, they need mm -hmm. the versatility of our solution, mm -hmm. and it would be very hard to press for them to get similar solutions from elsewhere. Mm, fantastic. Um, I wonder if you can tell me or share any details about the CenturyLink deployment of your SD-WAN technology. What makes that installation or that that service particularly interesting? Yeah, first of all, from CenturyLink perspective, you know they're going to deploy our SD-WAN with uh, UTM mm. uh, because primarily they want uh, their customers to do direct to internet access and they want to make sure that they're well protected. Right. So that is one aspect. Second mm. is that they are not imposing uh, some kind of a topology requirement on their customer that they have to do hub and spoke. Right. Uh, they, they, they are giving full freedom to the customers to choose whatever topology they want. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, third is that it's a very multi-tenant solution from the central link perspective mm -hmm. to bring the operational cost down mm -hmm. uh, in terms of uh, the solution itself. And uh, you know they're going to deploy it uh, across the United States initially, wow. and then globally later uh, later on. Yeah, I mean it's a fantastic result for you. It's a tier one win, which is obviously what all uh, companies are looking for. I mean it does seem like Versa is doing really well at the moment. Are you ahead of your business plan? Uh, we are quite ahead of our business plan, yeah. and also this is uh, the first announced tier one win you'll see a lot more announcements coming in the near future. Okay, well, we'll keep a close eye on you as we have done all the way along. It's a fantastic story. It's always a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you so much for having me here today. Thank you, Steve. Cheers.